in this video, we're going to look at the jerk bait or twitch bait. It is a fantastic bait. We're gonna look at techniques on how to fish it. We're gonna look at when you should fish it, why you should fish it. I'm gonna show you underwater what the lure looks like and how it reacts in the water and why a twitch bait or jerk bait is a fantastic bait to use year round. We're only gonna talk about fall fishing or colder water temperature fishing with the twitch bait. I call this a twitch bait, some people call it a jerk bait and they come in three styles. You have a sinking, a floating, and then you have a suspending. Now, of course, the sinking is going to sink when you pause it. The floating is going to rise up and keep in that upper water column, and the suspending is going to try to stay even. Today, I'm using a suspending twitch bait, and that's what you're going to hear most about. But this is a bait that not a lot of people have confidence in, and hopefully in this video, you'll gain the confidence to start fishing this more and catch more fish. I found that the jerk bait is an exceptional bait to use during this time. You're going to see that there's going to be a lot of people that use a jerk bait and they will make their twitch or their giant lunge with their rod and they will pause up to 30 seconds. Now, if you're using, if you're in deeper water, you're going to want to have a bait that sinks if it's deeper because as you make that twitch, it'll sink. And as that bait sinks and that bass is looking upwards, it'll see it. Now, if you have water that's not terribly deep, like Florida or maybe a little bit north of Florida, you're going to want to probably use a suspending bait. During the fall and, and in winter, you're going to want to pretty much use a suspending or a sinking bait. A floating weight is just too high in the water column for them right now. You want to use something that is in at the level that they're feeding. And that's where you're going to target fish and also use the right line. One of the things people don't realize in jerkbait fishing is the lighter the line, the deeper the bait will sink. If you're in deeper water, you want to pretty much use a sinking jerkbait. If you are in the middle of the country, that suspending one will do just as well. And you can get suspending and sinking ones that have that bigger diving lip. These ones don't have that dot big lip. We just don't have, I don't have the reason to use them, but they'll have bigger lips that'll come out to here. So when you twitch them, they'll twitch and sink properly or pause properly. And remember, like I've said, the longer you can pause, the more bites you're gonna get. Now, what is a jerk bait or twitch bait? It's a small, slender, anywhere from 90 to, they go on up to 150 millimeters. It's a bait that has, some have two treble hooks, some have three. They are small slender baits that have a tight wobble, but they have a lot of different ways that they can be fished. To start off, we're gonna look at how, some techniques on how to fish this bait, and some techniques that are proven that will you can dial in fairly fast and catch fish. Now during the summer, you can just cast this and reel it in. But the, the techniques I'm gonna show you Hopefully you can use during the fall and then during the summer and just incorporate those so that when you're having a tough time or you see bait fish that are this size that you can put this suspending twitch bait or sinking or floating and catch fish almost instantly. So now I'm going to drop some serious knowledge on you so you don't have to hear that loud background from the freeway and I'm going to read it and it's right over here. In 1936, this, in southern Finland, Lori Rapala designed the jerk bait. With a lot of wood and local trees, it was coated in lacquer and metallic dust. Rapala created a lure that thousands of companies now produce. In 1962, an article in Time was released about Lori Rapala. It was Time's biggest all-time selling issue. Why? It had the death of Marilyn Monroe on it. But this article started the craze. The original floater became legendary and anglers began waiting the lure to make it suspend and more. That's where this lure started. During the winter months, I like to do two things. I like to either, well really three things. I either like to give the rod, the reel, a couple tw turns and then stop it. I like to do this a lot. This is normally how I fish it. A couple twitches and then I pause. The theory here is the pause is when the bait is going to get bit because it's gonna make that erratic movement look like a dying fleeing bait fish, and then that dying fleeing bait fish is stopping. A bass will watch it and then 
trigger in on those bite. Now you can also take the same movement and do one sweeping movement with your rod tip and then pause it. Again, the pause is where this bait shines. The twitching will get bass to look at it and then the pause will get them to eat it. As tough as it is to not to pause the bait, the pause is where you're gonna get a majority of your strikes. As that bait sits, that bait looks wounded. So one of the things you have to remember is that you have to remember the type of water column that you're fishing. If you're fishing shallow water like we have here, you're gonna to wanna to use a floating suspending jerk bait or twitch bait. If you have deeper water, you're gonna to wanna to use one that has a bigger bill that sinks eight to 10 to 12 feet deep. And then, then you need to figure out if you want a suspending one or one that's gonna keep moving up and down, either sinking or floating. That's where it's gonna come into. I'll be honest, I use a suspending one almost all the time. I'm confident in it, and I know that it, it catches fish. I believe if you give the jerk bait, the hard plastic jerk bait, a little bit of love, I think you're gonna find that you're gonna catch more fish. That way of, the way of uh, twitching and then pausing is very important. And there's gonna be a lot of people that just say, I can't pause for 30 seconds. I'm right there with you. But I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth. The longer you pause, the better you're going to do. I hate to admit that. As someone who has ADHD, I can't pause longer than three seconds. But when I make myself pause longer, I find myself getting more and more bites. During this colder time and the colder water, those fish are extremely lethargic. So remember the water depths. And remember, using a sinking or suspending bait in this cold water time is really important and it's gonna get you more bites. I hope you like this kind of content because these videos do take a little bit of time, so make sure you smash that like and subscribe button because I really do appreciate it. Remember, take a kid fishing. Thank you for watching. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I didn't know what to say there. And we'll see y'all soon. Cheers.